Hello, welcome to this lesson in Calculus 1 Limits. In the last section, we introduced the concept of limit laws, which I have written on the board here. I didn't erase them. I haven't changed them from what you've already seen. Uh, and in the last section, you've learned that you really have a lot of experience with using these already. I just never really told you formally that they were actually laws. So what we're going to do in this section is work a bunch of problems. Um, they're going to be fairly simple. I mean, you've already seen a lot of how to do, how to solve these limits, but as we go through these, I'm going to show you which limit laws are applying. So you can kind of get a feel for the fact that you actually have already used them a lot. Sometimes on tests, the professor will say, hey, solve this limit problem and tell me which limit law is applying to this. And so then you might have to know those limit laws to figure it out. So let's go and do the first one. What if I have the limit as x approaches 2? of the function 4x cubed minus 6x squared minus 9x. Okay, so this is your classic polynomial. What do you think is going to apply here? Well, I've already told you, how would you do this? I said, hey, just plug it in, right? That's what I've already told you. But really what's happening is you have this term, which is a function, this is a function, and this is a function, and they're all subtracted. So basically you're going to use the difference uh, guy here, which says that I can take the limit of each individual thing and then subtract them. So whenever I take the limit of each individual thing, I'm essentially going to be plugging in values. So what I'm going to have is, as I do this, 4 times 2 to the third, um, and then I'm going to have minus 6 times 2 squared minus 9 times 2, like this. And so ultimately what's going to happen, let's go over here, is I'm going to have 4 times 2 to the third is going to actually be 8, and then I'm going to have minus 6 times 4, minus, and I'll just say minus 18, 9 times 2 is 18. Okay, so what I'm going to have is 32 minus 24 minus 18, and ultimately the final answer here is going to be negative 10. If you actually do this minus this minus this, you get negative 10. So the point is, is by plugging it in the way I told you before, this is a smooth continuous function. All, by the way, all polynomials are smooth and continuous. So you can always plug in the value to get the limit for any polynomial. What's happening is you're doing the limit for each individual thing here. Okay. So let's move on to another problem. What if I have the limit as x approaches 0 of the function 1 over x? Well, I've already told you um, to give it a shot to go ahead and try to plug it in. Okay. Um, but really what's happening is notice that you have a top and a bottom. So basically you can end up using this quotient. You can take the limit as the function uh, approaches the limit on the top and the limit of the bottom function approaching the same thing. So what you have on the top is the limit as of x approaches 0 of the number 1 on the top and the limit as x approaches 0 of the, uh, the function x on the bottom. Okay. Now, you can continue to, to use this and use additional limit laws. What is the limit of a constant? The limit of a constant for any value that you approach is just the same constant because it's a flat horizontal line. So on the top, you're going to just have 1. And on the bottom, the limit as x approaches 0 of x, you already know you can plug it in, but you see that it's just another limit law here. So it's just going to be the value that you're approaching. So we plug 0 in and it's going to go here. Now, yes, this does give you kind of a weird answer, 1 over 0, but if you think about it, as you get closer and closer and closer to 0, but never quite get there, you're going to be dividing by smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller numbers. So what's going to really happen is this limit is going to approach infinity. And if you actually uh, plot this, you will see that it does approach infinity uh, as, you, as you get there. Okay? Now, it depends potentially on what direction you're approaching uh, 